Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you guys want to check out my social media or check out a badass kick-ass original story, check out the links down in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. So I'm not sure exactly uh, how to say this, La Harve, La Harve. Uh, my wife can say it a lot better than me because she speaks a little French. I don't speak any French at all. Uh, it's got a pretty cool cover, though, and it just so happens to be another Criterion. I know I review a lot of Criterions. It's just a lot of the films that I want to check out personally have Criterions, and if I can get it on a Criterion, I'm going to get it on a Criterion. So, uh, But La Harve, La Harve, uh, I'm going to just say La Harve because uh, I think that's what it is. Uh, it's directed by Aki Kurosmaki, and we, uh, me and my wife just reviewed the Proletariat Trilogy, I think it was probably about a month ago, two months ago, something like that. Uh, and to be honest, my filmmaking journey with him is kind of just beginning, uh, because I just finished the Proletariat Trilogy, and then La Harvey, and then I have two more films of his that I'm checking out, and then I have the Leningrad Cowboys. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just really excited to dig into his films uh, even more, because I really do enjoy his films. I mean, he... Pretty much his films talk about the people that don't get talked about enough, and that's people that uh, are either living in poverty or just, you know, going through something. And that's, I mean, hey, those people exist. I would say probably 90, 96, 7, 8% of the people on the planet are those people, unfortunately. not Well, I, well, I said poverty in that, so I mean, I don't think 98% of the planet is poverty, but you know what I mean. There's... uh. Uh, a lot of people can relate to what's going on in his films, whether or not you're in that situation. Because the, because the people in his films are usually bottom of the barrel, like, struggling. And even though, you know, some people might not be in that position, you can sort of relate in a way because sometimes you feel like you are in that position. You know, like, I've, you know, been in positions to where maybe people be like, hey, you know, you, you've got it made, man. Just don't, don't stress about anything. But it's kind of hard to not stress about stuff, you know, because... Uh, what might be serious to someone else might not be serious to someone else, if that makes sense. You know, what might be serious to me might not be serious to someone else. So, uh, and that's one reason why I like watching Aki Kurosmaki, because it makes me sort of, it puts me in the shoes of what's going on with other people. Uh, you know, like, because there are people in this world that aren't as fortunate uh, as other people, unfortunately. And that's just kind of how the the world works. And, uh you know, there's nothing you can do about that. And I really do enjoy watching his films because it sort of puts things in perspective. And I feel like as a filmmaker, that's, you know, that's that's a pretty powerful thing to do is to put things in perspective for people. Uh, you know, because his films, I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't call them ballsy because that's what he wants to do. And I don't think he's offending anybody, but they're ballsy in the sense of like, I feel like there's a message trying to be thrown at you, like in your face. And I appreciate that. I really do love that. I love films that do that. I just, you know, they they really do resonate with me really well. And that's exactly what La Harvey did. Now, what La Harvey is about is it's about this this old man. He's a shoe shiner. Uh, he, you know, he's obviously struggling to make ends meet. And these people find this sort of cargo shipment. And when I was looking at this cargo thing from uh, uh from the movie, it sort of reminded me of like every Call of Duty game that I've ever played in my life because. I mean, you know, you got those cargo shipment crates or whatever, uh, and there turns out to be people in them. I guess they might have been um, uh, refugees from Africa or another country. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, pretty much uh, there is a, an African boy that the old man meets, and he's trying to get to uh, London. He wants to get to London, I'm, I'm assuming, to start a new life or go visit his mother, and he's on the run, and the old man's having to help him. It's a very... Uh, a very heartwarming story. Uh, well, my voice just crackled there. Uh, it's a very heartwarming story. Uh, it's one of those stories that you're you're definitely rooting. You're definitely rooting for the good guys. And the reason why I say the good guys is you you, you might want to watch the film because it really does have a pretty satisfying payoff. Uh, I hope I didn't spoil. I hope that wasn't a spoiler in itself. But it really does got something really cool to it that you should you know sort of examine, sort of look into more because it really does. It, it, like I said, it goes back to when you're talking about people that are in rougher positions than other people, and, and it's all about putting things in perspective, and that really does sort of explain this film in a nutshell, because there's, there, there's a lot of stuff that happens in this film that sort of, you know, relates back to that. So, if you're a big fan of Aki Kurosmaki, you can get it on Criterion La Harvey. I, I'm serious, I'm not trying to, like, sit here and, and uh, uh, Criterion's not sponsoring me or anything, obviously, but, like, 
I just really do recommend Criterions to people. They're just, they're really nice. They usually have something, you know, to them, like a book or something that you can learn more about the film with. I mean, there's just, there's a lot of stuff to these little movies. They're, I'm not going to say little movies because I feel like these are the godfather of Blu-rays here. But yeah, definitely check out La Harvey or anything from Aki Kurosamaki. Uh, if I had to recommend a good starting point, I would either say La Harvey or the Proletariat Trilogy, but I can't really say much because I haven't seen all of his films. But anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you're at, and I'll see you next time.